um, something that's pretty obvious, and it, it's probably obvious to a lot of you, <laughs> you know, that have been uh, watching my channel and seeing everything, you know what I mean? Um, something I realized when I was around Bishop as well, like the other day, and God has kind of shown me, he, he reveals how he sees the disciples, you know, and all that. But to me, it's pretty obvious. Well, especially now. And, um, there's a few, there's a few, few of you that Jesus already sees you as his apostles or soon to be apostles. You know what I mean? There's a few of you. And I realized this when I was around Bishop. I'm like, this is one of this is one of Jesus' apostles right now. Even if even if Bishop doesn't even realize it, maybe he does, and he never vocalized it. He's been serving God loyally for 20 years. Maybe maybe he does know God sees him as an apostle. Maybe he does. <laughs> maybe some of you see know that God sees you as an apostle. You know, but you never told anybody. You know what I mean? You're that devoted to God. You're that loyal to God. You're that legit for God that Jesus already sees you as a, his apostle. You know, follower. That level of devotion. It's not a joke. <laughs> There's a reason why he was very selective about the 12 back in the day. Very selective. You know what I mean? He doesn't mess around. <laughs> he doesn't mess around. When, when he picked the 12, he didn't. He wasn't messing around. Even pick, even picking Judas, that had a purpose. You know, even picking Judas, that had a purpose. For the end, you know, for the, for God's purpose, even that decision to pick Judas had a purpose. So, but anyways, I feel like one of you is right, and I can feel it as well. Jesus, will, he's trying to make me like a, an apostle eventually, like way down the road. It's, He's like trying to create an apostle with me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can feel it, you know. That's the road, that's the path he's trying to take me as one of his apostles, like he did with Paul. He's trying to, eventually, eventually, <laughs> maybe, maybe like ten years down the road, <laughs> maybe about ten years down the road. <laughs> I'm still that disciple that feels guilty, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> serving God. I'm like, I don't, have, I don't even have a right to serve God. <laughs> you know, I'll help you out, but Bishop, because God does want me to be around Bishop, the Peter, <laughs> who I consider the Peter, the apostle. That's what I, that's what I realized. I'm like, God sees him as an apostle. He does. He sees the Peter. You guys never seen him, but he sees him as an apostle. Consistency—it matters to God. It does. It absolutely matters. <laughs> it does. It's, but I, I consider it the Peter, James, and John of the team. You know, Bishop. I, you see, uh, God sees him as an apostle that I'm learning from, an experienced, <laughs> an experienced person. And. Uh, JR, he sees as an apostle. And Robert as well. Archangel, damn it. So, but you guys already figured this out. They're super solid. They're super solid. So, appreciate your guys' patience with me. You know what I mean? I think it's pretty obvious you've been serving God longer than me. You've been walking with God longer than me. It's pretty obvious. You know? It's very obvious. Yeah. Yes, 
faith in me, you know. God has faith in me, you know. He has faith in me. You know, to make something of me, he has faith. Like I said, that could be way down the road, but I feel like eventually uh, God will try to make me his, his uh, a loyal apostle of his. Eventually, he'll try to do that. Which makes sense. <laughs> His, he wants. Uh, I don't care if no one believes me, but he wants uh, his. It makes sense. Someone that is supposed to be his battle axe. He wants him to be totally devoted to God, totally like an apostle, totally devoted to God. No one else, whoosh, nothing else, just devoted to God. Yep. Once I once he gets me to that point. God will say it, not me. God will say it. I won't say it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so it's interesting because I was not impressed with, with. Uh, I was in a false religion with apostles. I was not impressed with the apostles. That God knows that. So I take, I take that position, apostle, to Jesus Himself, very, very, very seriously, <laughs> because of the disappointment in the in the false apostles. The disappointment I saw. <laughs> so, one of the things I said. If you're an apostle of Jesus, I mean, you should have been able to do something, you know, cast out devils or, you know, Jesus should have shown you something, you know, but now they, 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 they didn't do anything like an apostle would, you know, nothing, just businessmen that talk in a microphone and stuff, you know, that's not possible, so I take it seriously. So three of you, definitely, are apostle level, definitely. And if not so, you're very close. <laughs> if not quite apostle level with Jesus, you're very close. You three, Bishop, J.R., and Robert. <laughs> you know. But I saw it clearly when I was, like I said, I saw it clearly when I was looking at Bishop. I was looking at Bishop across the, the, his living room. And I'm like, God sees him as his apostle. He does. He sees him as his apostle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's not in. He's not in. You know, corrupt, organized religion. You know, God. God did that on purpose. You know what I mean? To make his apostles. Where, where, you know what I'm saying? Not corrupted. God chooses wisely. He does. We're gonna make his real, real apostles, like he did back in the day. He chooses wisely. my opinion I've only been a real disciple for like seven months a real one something like that a real disciple of Jesus for about seven months <laughs> so, yeah, so long ways to go <laughs> long ways to go before uh, Jesus makes me an apostle or something down way down the road <laughs> but I feel like one of you is right he wants me to be that level with him. He does. It's not a joke. <laughs> he does. You know what I'm saying? Eventually he knows I'll be the most reliable. The most reliable follower that he's ever created. <laughs> and he created me to follow him. He did. God created me to follow him. <laughs> exactly. Eventually. You know, he, he did. <laughs> you know? Even if I get distracted by different things in the world, eventually God will reposition me. <laughs> To follow him only. He will. He'll redirect me. So.
Charles now, Jim. I was born for a specific purpose and got serious about it. So I gotta be serious about it. Anyways. But he surrounded me with experienced people, you know. Some of the disciples that are ahead of me, that I wouldn't quite call apostles, they've been walking with God longer than me, you know. So he has experienced guys that are not on that level, but they're, they've been following God longer. Like uh, Cable, he's been following God, walking with God longer than me. You know, disciple number 11 <laughs> that I'm trying to gain on, you know what I'm saying? Paul says it's a race. <laughs> it's a race. It's a race to the front of the apostles. <laughs> it's a race. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If Paul says it's a race, I believe Paul. It's a race. It's a race. Who's the most devoted to God? You know, it's a race. You know what I'm saying? And that matters. It does. It does. So. Some of you I thought were going to be part of the 12 disciples. I did. But you did, you know, like Cyclops. That was interesting. I guess, uh, I don't know, God called you to do other things or something. That's just something I realized today. How God sees some of the dis disciples in, on the team. Some He already sees them as like apostle level. Apostle level already. And I already knew that. It was pretty obvious to me. It was it was very obvious. <laughs> like these guys are way more solid and devoted to God than I've ever seen anybody be devoted to God. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying. So it's no surprise to any of us, you know what I'm saying? So. be really you have to be really devoted to God <laughs> so yeah I don't even know how long some of you guys have been walking with God <laughs> I don't know but I know it's longer than me I know uh, bishops bishops you know 20 years you know <laughs> 20 years so maybe maybe the uh, you know you guys have been walking with God for maybe de decades I don't know maybe He just gave me a glimpse how he sees some of the disciples. There's 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 a few of us that are really devoted to God. That's what I'm saying. Super devoted to God, no exceptions. Just you know what I'm saying? No exceptions. So it's legit. So I've seen it for myself as well. It's legit. So God's correct. God's correct on who he sees as apostle level right now. So just three of you. So just like Peter, James, and John. Just like that. Anyways, God knows I still feel guilty. I do. I, I still feel guilty. I, you know, I don't. You know, for being like a, you know, a Saul. You know, I still feel guilty. I'm like, I don't have the right to. I don't have the right to even be considered a disciple of God. It's it's God's will, not mine, to make me a disciple. It's God's will. One day I'll feel, I won't feel guilty, I'll feel worthy, you know what I mean? I know. One day. But I know Paul, I know Paul felt the same way, so I'm not alone. I'm not alone in that, so. There's a reason why God keeps point, pointing out different parts of Paul's walk. You know, Saul to Paul, different parts of Paul's walk. God shows me different parts at different times for some reason, for obvious reasons. Because um, I can relate to him more than anybody in the Bible. It's Saul, Saul Paul. <laughs> more than anybody in the Bible. So that's, that's what God uses that him for. You know, constantly. So. I wanted, you know, I was reading about Abraham. I wanted to be promised stuff by God and blessed like Abraham with the prosperity and stuff like that. But maybe that's not in the cards for me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> maybe it's supposed to be a hard grind like Paul did right to the end. Just a hard grind with me. Maybe that's, maybe that's what God wants, is a hard grind like Paul. Like, 
right to the very end. You know? <laughs> Forget the blessings and prosperity. It's just a hard grind. You know? You know, blessings and prosperity, that's for Abraham, not for me. You know? <laughs> God may surprise me. God may surprise me. He showed me. He showed me about how he, a little bit of how he uh, promised things to Abraham today. So maybe that'll happen for me. I don't know. God bless me like he did.